All right. So as a continuation from the previous class that we had uh, working with our theorems, uh, in this case, I want us to understand how to simplify some typical questions uh, like what we're having. This is exercise two, uh, where we are given O is the center of the circle in each fig that we're given. Uh, so in each case, determine the value of the lower case letters, that is A, B, C, and so on. Uh, give reason for each statement. So we are given, uh, I want us to consider the first question uh, and see how we are supposed to uh, find out these letters that we are given. Uh, so if we check, we've got the letter A, the letter B, and also the letter C. Uh, and that is uh, a cyclic quad. If you check, there is J, uh, the K, the M, and N. All these four points are on the vertices of our circle. Uh, I mean, the vertices, they're on the circumference of a circle. So meaning to say that's a cyclic quadrilateral. We can consider theorems about a cyclic uh, quadrilateral. So we can consider uh, the part of a cyclic quadrilateral in that case. Uh, and also considering that O is the center, remember the relationship about the center and the angle at the circumference, this angle here. So if you were to hold uh, properly this code, uh, or if you hold from J to M, this part here, it is creating an angle at N. So it's creating an angle at N. At the same time, it is creating an angle at A, which is at the center. So this angle A, the one that is at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. All right, so that's the reason. So as I am explaining, I'm also giving you the reasons. So A, is going to be two times this angle, 32. So that is two times uh, 32 degrees, which is going to give us uh, 64 degrees. So you just need to know your theorems. So this is because angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference, remember that. So that is, we have got angle of A, which is 32 degrees, uh, which is uh, 64 here. So this is 64 degrees, all right. Then to determine angle B, this is what you're going to do. Angle B and A, they are at a certain point creating a complete revolution. If you consider this is what is happening, uh, that is our angle A, which is 64 degrees. Remember that a complete revolution adds up to 360 degrees. So if it adds up to 360 degrees to determine angle B, which is the angle that is remaining, we are going to subtract that from 360. So that is because uh, a complete revolution is equal to 360 degrees. So this is going to be 360 degrees minus uh, 64 degrees, which is this angle that we determined uh, before. So that was the whole part of our question. So if we had to subtract 360 uh, minus 64, this was going to give us 296. So that is what you are going to have at the end. So meaning to say this is going to be 296 degrees. All right. So you have angle B, which is this one. This is a reflex angle. This one, it's called a reflex angle. The angle that is more than 180, but less than 360 degrees. All right. So using the same concept, you are going to see that angle C can be determined the same way or the, using the same approach of angle A, remember A is the angle at the center, this one, to this angle at the circumference. So it follows that angle C is the one that we are referring as the angle at the circumference, while list B is its angle at the center, this B, this one. So angle B, it affects angle C, whereas Angle A, it affects angle 32. That is how the angle at the center concept. So this one is the angle at the center B. Y least angle C is the angle at them, at the circumference. Or you can use this concept. Remember, we talked about a cyclic quadrilateral. We know that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, they must add up to 180 degrees. They are supplementary. So to determine angle C, there were so many ways uh, to do that. So angle C, we can determine this as 180 minus uh, 32 degrees. This is from the cyclic quadrilateral concept. Opposite angles, they are supplementary. So that means if you subtract 180 minus 32, that was going to give us 148 
uh, degrees. So this is 148 uh, degrees. Or you can use the concept that I was saying that uh, angle C is the angle at the circumference, whereas angle B is the angle at the center. So it follows that angle C can be determined as the angle at the center divided by two. The angle at the center, which is angle B, that is two, nine, six degrees. Then we divide this by, by two. So that is two, nine, six divided by two. We are going to have uh, the same answer of 148 degrees. So angle C is at the circumference, B at the center. That is the case, uh, that is the case of our question. All right, let us consider the second.